Hey YouTube, uh, this is Nice and Retro Game Nerd with um, the tenth pick a video. This is going to be one of the, um, you know, my best find. This is going to be the one at a garage sale, which is my NES top loader or NES two or whatever you want to call it. Um, I got this. Uh, last year this is just a video to put out because I'm going to PAX in about a week or two um, it's on April uh, 6th and I'm going um, you know I'm gonna see a couple of youtubers maybe um, probably hang out with a couple of them you know go to a couple of thrift stores game stores you know so um the way I found this this was actually near my friend's house and he went to it and it was one of the garage sales where it's like they're selling a bunch of babies toys and I asked the guy if he had any video games, and this, like, a couple of buddies of, like, there's a buddy of his that was also there. He said, yeah, yeah, I got an old Nintendo, and I got an old Super Nintendo I want you to, yeah, I guess I could let go. So, you know, I went to his house, and he took out this NES Toppler to show me. He said he wa he was keeping the Super Nintendo, which I was fine. I already had a Super Nintendo, so I was like, okay, you can keep the Super Nintendo, yeah. I understand, it's a really fun system. And I'm surprised, this was a really good condition. Um, there might have been some yellowing, but then I got the swab and did it, and it just came right off. So I was surprised. I was so happy. I mean, it is in beautiful condition. Um, the games I got were, you know, common titles, but some of them were a little off. You know, uh, um, a little unusual. So, um, yeah. I ended up getting around like 25, 30 games around that for 30 bucks. And, um, yeah, so my friend actually went there first and he said, Yeah, well, they had nothing. So then I went, I'd be like, Okay, well, you know, maybe he, he didn't see something that, you know, they had. So I just went there and asked him. And then when I showed my friend, he was. Like, oh my god, why didn't I ask him? It was like, he was, he was like blaming himself because he, he's too nervous to ask people if they have video games. So I ended up getting an NES top loader. Very beautiful condition. These go three times amount what I paid for, basically. So it's like I got the games for like 30 bucks, which would even be a really good deal. It's like getting this for free, so can't disagree with it. I got it with the a, original AC adapter. I'll let you guys see that. Um, and it came with the original um, RF cable. And where is my dog bone controller? Where did I put my dog bone controller? Where is it? Um, oh, is it over there? No. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, I can't show you the dog one control. I don't know where it is. I was just playing it. So, um, the games that he took out showed me are these. And I will show, I mean, this is a huge bundle. Um, let me back up this so I can put it next to the computer. And so, you know. The first game I got, some of these have rental stickers, which I'm keeping on. Um, the, none of them are Blockbuster, though. So, The Simpsons, Bart vs. Space Mutants. The next game is Monopoly. I'm reluctant to still have the list I wrote down about a year and a half ago. or Yeah, about a year ago. Um, and I still wrote, you know, all the games on. And I still kept it through all these years so it's good to have the list to see what games I you know had you know or, or that I got um, track and field the legend of cage the s funny thing about some of these games is that um, it has someone's name and address and their phone number and their area code, and um, basically their street and everything. So, I I know where you live now, but they probably moved after you know twenty something years. 
This is another one. Marble Madness. A very fun game. Also goes for Legend of Cage. Next one is a great classic. It is a Dr. Mario. Oh, I'm sorry, I gotta turn this up. Oh, wow, not that loud. Um, I actually got the manual. I just got the manual for this game not too long ago, but I got um, pro wrestling, so you know, I have the man, have the manual with it. It's great. So another, um, that was a classic, a great game by the way. Good to have the manual because it's hard to do some moves because you, sometimes you're smashing buttons, you don't know what you're doing. So it's great to know. Next game is uh. Where's Waldo? The Great Waldo Search or whatever. Um, next game, uh, Tetris. Gotta have that. Next game is Ninja Gaiden. Great game. I'll just put that there so it doesn't block too much. The next game is Tennis. Ugh. Next game is Ghosts and Goblins. you guys see some of that. Next game is the Cry Kid. Got some rattling. You can't really play it very good, but if you if you do it a lot, then it will work. You know, like shake it up a little bit. Well, it's in the system. Um, I tried doing that trick, but I do not have a box NES system. You know, the box. So I need to top loader first uh, system. NES system I ever got, which, you know, is pretty good. Uh, Metal Gear. Burger Time. Another one with uh, someone, that person's name on it. This is some of a rare game. I got Kicks or QIX or whatever you want to call it. Of course, I got Mario Brothers. I got um, Strider. He said this was a very fun game. Um, all these games have like a perfect back. He he took care of these games. So, sorry, that's a fun game. Blades of Steel. It has a little la label damage, uh, like in that corner, like the top that's protecting it, like it was a little clear part. But I'll um, you know, it's not too much damage, so. Uh, Blade of Steel, also a very fun game. Karate Champ. Alright, let me just lower this a little bit. So, not too much light is on it. So, Karate Champ. Um, yeah, fun game as well. Swords and Serpents. And Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle. Another rental sticker thing says, Dwayne's Toyland. Five bucks, you know, back then, five bucks. Pretty good. Either that or you got it. Um, when they were just liquidating, probably. So. Got all those. Four. Basically, it's 30 bucks. My first offer for him was twenty, because he offered forty. And I thought that was a little high, cause I, you know, I was a kid, and stuff. And I actually didn't know too much about it, but I knew that any top loader was kind of rare, was uh, pretty rare and desirable. So I was looking for a top loader. I was looking for any NES system, basically. So um, yeah, this. To get at one garage sale is amazing for 30 bucks, especially. I can just sell the NES Toppler for like 80 bucks if I want on eBay, but I'm not gonna do that. So, this will be just um, a video to keep you guys waiting because I will be going to PAX East and I will have a big pickup video for that. And I did get some stuff in the past two weeks or so. I got a special system that you may have, uh, you know, a very uncommon system. And it's definitely worth it. And, you know, maybe you'll see it on a television. Possibly in the back in this episode. <laughs> so, if you can just guess what the system is, then... Uh, yeah, and it also came with that game. So, just to let you know. Um, so, all these games...
a great selection of games, too, you know. I'm surprised you didn't have, like, Mario 3 or whatever. So, this is the uh, list I had made a couple years ago. I found that their uh, values and whatnot. I'm surprised you didn't have Mario 3. But whatever. You know, it works. So, these games go back in my collection. Um, you know, I can't really say much else. This is actually a pretty short video for what it is, you know. If you have any questions about these games, let me know. Um, this will definitely be one memorable pick. Because this is the my first haul at a garage sale, basically. So, yeah. Um, and I will be getting a lot of rare stuff. Maybe, maybe not too much rare. Maybe, like, one thing, like, that's really rare. Like, you know, Contra Force or something like that. I'm looking to get, like, a rare game at PAX East. Um, I'm really looking to go, like, th some thrift stores, maybe in Boston. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my Mortal Kombat. 3, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, and, uh, you know, I got a really good price on it, so, uh, bye YouTube, I guess this is kind of small video for a big pickup, so, uh, maybe I should include some more of the story or whatever, I bet you some, uh, most of you YouTubers are just exiting out in the little box you have down there. And then just going on to the next video because you're going to rush or whatnot. So, um, you know, when the guy pulled out the box, I was amazed at the game selection he had. And basically, I was like, oh my god. Is this guy, like, going to ask... A, a, what I was worried about was, he, was he going to give me a really big offer or a very negotiable, reasonable offer? So, um... I ended up getting a really good deal. Uh, you know. All those games. I'm so amazed today that I got a top loader. This is I think the best. Uh, I think this is better than the box. So it's got smooth uh, thing. You got your reset button here. And, um, this isn't the one that go uses the, um, AV cables, or, you know, the red, white, and, what's that other cable? Yellow. So, if you guys want to see the back of it, you know, if this is, like, a rare model, please let me know. So, that's what it says right there. Um, if you guys can tell me if this is, like, a rare one. A more rare one. Let, let me know. I'd love to hear if it's rare. Like, rare than normal. Um, so, yeah. Bye. So nice today. These games are awesome. So, yeah.